Yeah, so this is basically like question six, um, except there's a typo. And, um, and instead of just telling me what the inductance is, it's giving me all these parameters where I need to plug in the numbers to get the inductance. <laughs> so, um, oh, wait, 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 uh, never mind. It's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's confusing me by giving me these parameters that I don't need because it's told me what the self inductance of this toroid is. And that's all I care about. I don't need to know the height of the toroid. I don't need to know the number of windings. All those things are unnecessary. All I need is the value of the inductance. If somehow you know that, then that's all you need. In fact, these parameters, I'm realizing that they, he's not giving, the question is not giving us the radius of the, the toroid. So it, it's not even complete set of extra information anyway. And I have this um, uh, amount of energy stored. So I use this expression for the energy stored in inductor one half L di, oh, wait, wait, sorry. I'm confusing my two <laughs> expressions. One half L I squared. So since it's asking for the current, solve this for I, the current is two times the inductance uh, or the energy stored in inductor divided by inductance square rooted and that'll give me uh, that'll give me the answer. And I think if I just plug in the numbers in microjoules, since the micro is 10 to minus a six and milli is 10 to minus three, after the square root, I'm just gonna get the answers in the right units. So um, let's see, can I do this? No, I don't think I can do this in my head. So four divided by, yeah, I can't do that division in my head. So, I mean, I can do it in a calculator. That's simple enough. Um, two divide or, or rather four, uh, four, uh, four divided by 0 0.055. Take the square root of that. Oops. The square root of that, 8.53. And I worked my way through the these powers of 10 to convince myself that this is in the correct power of 10. So uh, the amount of current flowing should be 8.53 milliampere. Um, let's hope that's right. Otherwise it's embarrassing. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's, no. <laughs> it, so, um, you know, don't get distracted by this extra information that you don't need. And even if you are trying to use it, you, they didn't give you enough to actually use it.